Are you looking for the best MIG welders? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best MIG welders on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Hobart Handler 210 MIG Welder. The best overall MIG welder online is the Hobart Handler 210 MVP MIG Welder. It has a good mix of affordability, amperage range, and high-quality components. It isn't the lowest-priced machine on our list, but it performs the best for its price and has a reputation for reliability. It has a good range of amperage settings and a large and even larger range of different wire speeds. This ensures you have complete control over dialing in your preferred setup for each job. The machine doesn't take much skill to set up and run. It's designed for any environment, including industrial welding shops, but it's easily used by beginners who are learning the basics. The 210 MVP doesn't suit on-site work or being moved to different locations frequently as it's heavier than other 210 amp welders. Yet, it's ideal for a stationary workbench setup and is well laid out for ease of use. It produces an incredibly smooth, consistent arc. It doesn't give you any surprises and has minimal spatter issues, unlike other lower quality MIG machines. At number 2. Forney 271-110 V MIG Welder. The Forney Easy Weld 271, 140 MP welder is the best MIG machine for the money. It's a smaller machine amperage-wise than the Hobart 210 MVP, but it's significantly more affordable and has some nice features. It's a good quality machine that is ideal for beginners who want to learn on a lower amperage machine. The welder is simple to learn with and has a comprehensive instruction manual that makes the process even easier, whether you have experience or not. The 140MP is one of the most popular MIG machines on the market, and it also has the capacity to TIG weld if you want to purchase a TIG lead and diversify your skills. The leads on this machine are shorter than we would like, but very few stock leads are long unless you invest in a Miller Electric 907614 MIG welder or something similar. This machine lays a bead almost identical to the Hobart 210 MVP in quality, penetration, and smooth consistency. Considering its price point, we recommend investing in this machine if you don't need to fuse thick sections and want affordability without compromising on quality. Overall, this is definitely one of the best MIG welders for the money as of right now. At Number 3. Lotus MIG 175 MIG Welder. If you don't mind a lower quality welder, but want more diversity in your MIG welding, we recommend the Lotus MIG 175 175 Amp MIG Welder. It has some handy features like the aluminum spool gun that's included. Most MIG machines are capable of welding aluminum, but they won't feed the soft aluminum wire without a specially designed spool gun. The spool gun that's included feeds the wire smoothly, so it comes out without folding in the lead. The machine itself doesn't include a long warranty, but it's an affordable machine that is known to outlast the warranty long after it expires. The leads and welding gun aren't the best we have seen, the connector is an unusual type that standard guns won't fit, so it's not straightforward replacing it. However, the machine isn't designed for industrial work, so it shouldn't need a high-quality aftermarket torch. If you're a serious welder wanting a decent machine for doing work at home, the MIG-175 is a machine we recommend considering. Particularly if you plan to MIG weld aluminum. At Number 4. Weld Pro Inverter Stick Slash Arc MIG Welder. The Weld Pro 155 Amp Inverter MIG Welder is a good machine for hobbyists and others who want an affordable machine. It's one of the smallest MIG welders in this size, and with it being capable of plugging into both 110 and 220 volt power points, it is incredibly diverse in its portability. We also like the 2T and 4T switch. This allows manual and automatic wire feeding depending on the type of weld you're doing or your preferences. If you're running long beads or welding in awkward spots where you can't hold the torch properly, you can let it feed automatically to complete the job easier. The leads are not as long as we like, but it's a lower-priced model that leaves room for buying additional aftermarket parts like a longer gun lead if you require it. WeldPro is an experienced company at building welders and have been in the market for many years. 
they excel in building with quality components while keeping the price down. This 155 amp machine is a good example of that. At number 5. Reboot MIG 15220V MIG Welder. If you want a low-priced machine that's very basic, but still welds well, then the Reboot MIG 150DC220V Inverter MIG Welder is a good choice. The instruction manual that comes with the machine isn't very helpful, but the welder is easy to use, so you shouldn't need it if you have a basic understanding of welding machines. There are lower-priced machines on the market, but it's likely that they won't weld as good as this. It's a low-quality option, but for light welding, the bead is tidy with minimal spatter. It welds at an average temperature, so with its maximum 150 amp output, we recommend not purchasing it if you need to fuse anything thicker than 3 16 inch material unless you weld multiple passes. The MiG-150 can only run from a 220 volt power point, which makes it less desirable. If you only have 220 volts in your garage, this is fine, but if you need to use it in different locations or don't have access to 220 volts, then we don't recommend this. Overall, it's not our favorite welder, but it's good for an affordable option if you're looking for one of the top 220V MIG welders.